Hello everyone, we are live. It's Sunday yet again. It is. This is your game time folks. How are we all doing? I see Salam a lot in there. Had a packet of crisps and a burger. That's very sounds very nice. So I think last night's beer. EGWG, thank you for the host, and Tsukonami, thank you for the host. Who is Tsukonami? Where are Tsukonami? We'll soon see. Uh, Revel, hello. Blue Lou, hello as well. Uh, welcome in everyone. How are we all doing? How's our Sunday going? Uh, today is another episode indeed of This Is Your Game. EWG, I haven't got alerts on for this show, but thank you very much for subscribing again. Tier 1. Thank you very much for resub. I'll, I'll play your resub tomorrow if you're about. Uh, thank you very much. Quoty, hello as well. Well, guys, there's so many of you here, and I feel like potentially you haven't had a chance to cross paths with this next guest yet. So without further ado, it is the Scottish wonder himself, Sukonami. Oh gee, I, oh, I'm a little nervous now. There you honest. are, there you are. I, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of scared, I'll be honest. I'm a, I'm a little bit terrified. Don't be scared. Um, These are all lovely people. It is a little, I, I was I was like so different like before. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we'll totally do this. It'd be fine, absolutely. You know, I wanted to do the WWE intro and now I'm like, I don't want to get the words out. <laughs> well, Sukonami. No, hello. Welcome to the TV set. Welcome to This Is Your Game. I'm glad that I finally got, you know, my own little TV with its own little purple filter. <laughs> a little bit of magenta in there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Uh, first of all, I guess, who are you? Who am I? Yeah, oh, who are you? Uh, I'm Deck, otherwise known as Tsukunami. I play a whole bunch of different games. I, you know, I, I, I've I've been collecting games for for a long, long time. Um, bit of a bit of addiction, really. I've got too many games, but uh, the thing is, I don't know. I just sort of, I've I've always just know I grew up with games, and I love to just. I, was, I, I don't know. I don't know if you were very much that kid that was very much like you got stuck. You're like, oh, I've had enough of this, and I'll play it anymore. And then you start to be on something else. I was very much that kid. So a lot of the games that I've got behind me, I've probably never finished. Because like you, you get to a certain part, and you're like, this is too difficult. I was, I was the towel in to a bit too quickly as a kid. And I was like, if I just tried a little bit harder, that was it. You know. For instance, a little bit of a segue there for you, Snake. That. Um, this is Alanis, but you know, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of the game, but um, there's a certain section of this game that we may be playing today, I don't know, I'm not too sure, um, and I got stuck in that one. I used to play this game quite a lot uh, as a kid though, so I probably, it's for, you know, further than I did as a kid, so we'll see how it goes. This is one of the few games that I too have actually played as a child, but ooh, that sound means Mofzilla is here, hello Mofzilla, I see Argy Barmies is here as well. Uh, well, hello everyone, how are we all doing? Uh, but yeah, the Queen of Soviet Bristol has arrived. <laughs> the Queen of Soviet Bristol. Is that what we've dubbed her now, is it? Yeah, you got to tune in for the Moth Show, the after party to this very podcast, uh, <laughs> to find out about Soviet Bristol. Soviet uh, Bristol. Back onto the topic of Disney Atlantis. Yeah, this is one of the few games on the show where I've actually played myself. Can't remember completing it, because I do remember it was actually quite difficult for young Snake to overcome. Well, the thing is, right, it is it is Father's Day, but uh, I just want to say that this is, this is actually one of those games that I played a lot with my granddad. I actually, hold on, let me see if I still got it. I do. I have my original copy of the game still here, the original copy. Uh, and there is a lot of time that we spent together. And actually the only, this, this, like, when Snake came to me, he's like, okay, I need you to find a game. I need you to pick a game from your childhood that you you know you have really fond memories of, and I could not pick this one because it was the one that my my granddad and I spent so much time on. So uh, it's sort of it's fitting that I'm playing it on Father's Day, you know, as a as a sort of he's the closest thing I ever had to a dad. So it's very much big up John. <laughs> big up John in the chat. Uh, big up John in the chat exactly. And for legal purposes, uh, Sukunami has sent me the disc of his copy, and I that have, is what we're playing right is, now. Uh, it's not currently in my uh, in my uh, case. And we're not playing uh, an emulator. No, absolutely not. No, definitely not. Definitely. Uh, if we're not scratch it now. I've, 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 you know, had it for a long time. Had it for the last twenty-two years. You know, do you not scratch it? I, w I won't scratch it. I'll, I'll look after it dearly. Uh, but before we, you know, we'll just pause the game talk a minute. Uh, let's talk about you on Twitch and well, what brought oh. you to Twitch. What brought me to Twitch? Well, I mean, I've been. I, well, the thing is, I've I've been on Twitch since 2018, I believe. 
I think it's, it's about four years. I know that. Um, I started. I was. I was always. I was always a viewer. I was a big viewer on Twitch at the start, and I was probably like. I was probably on Twitch as a viewer like before then, even you know, for a couple of years, and I always wanted to give it a go and just see how it went. And it's like from from back then till now, it's it's a lot different. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> because it's like I show my face now. I talk on stream. I'm like such like such a, such a, much more of an open person, like much more of a sort of a you know just a you know jokey sort of have a bit of laugh. Back at the start, back in like oh, I think that everyone has like a th the way they wanted to work out for them. And I think back, I think little deck back in the day, he was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna you know I don't know if you know people are gonna like me. So like didn't have a camera, didn't have a mic. Used to just type in chat to people like oh hi how are you sort of thing. I was uh, I was a little bit dark, and then I and then I put the camera on. I had super long hair and the, and the glasses, and I'm like, oh no, like people are gonna hate me. <laughs> but I've been on and off Twitch for about four years, like between like between work and just like college and stuff. And it's like you know, but the last um, like obviously with Corona, you'll, you'll know yourself. It's it's been super sort of. It's been a lot easier to sort of get into Twitch and sort of be on Twitch with the amount of time that you've got. With Corona, like free time, and it's like I, I you know, I work retail, but I, I'm currently trying to stream every single day, and it's a, uh, it's it's a challenge. Yeah, it definitely is, and I, I definitely sort of I appreciate all the sort of the people that want to sort of be there and hang out and just you know just be top notch people because it's it's very much one of those things where we were talking we were actually talking this before the show, the fact that it's like you know you, you put yourself out there. And you don't sort of ex you don't really expect people to show up, but they do. And you don't really you know it's like you're sort of taken aback by like oh, at least people will be here. And then you get to the point where it's like oh, at least people want to you know give me subs or whatever. It's like I don't want, you know you don't have to like, this, is, this is completely free. Like, you don't have to deal with any of that stuff, you know. So it's very much a case of I'm just a I, as the journey song goes. I'm a small town boy, and I'm trying to make my way in the uh, the big old world. <laughs> and it's all the the connections you make make as well. It's. And, and they're all every connection I feel on Twitch is made through sheer coincidence because the chances of it's me very and you meeting well. is like super rare. We only we met each other for a raid, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we met through um, not Keith or Sutherland, but a different snake. Um, yeah. That 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 the other snake <laughs> we we don't talk about, but still, um, yeah, we we met through a raid, and it's like you'd be surprised how many people like. I think a lot of people that you sort of they want to stick around after a raid that you generally make like you really foster like good connections with them and it's like really strange to sort of think you know I, you, I believe that uh, I think we spoke in the past that you weren't at CEX or whatever it's like I, realistically I, we may have met someday because I love games so I come in yeah. you know say hi but it's like it's it's very chance encounter sort of thing IRL but on Twitch it's very much like hey how are you just hanging out just chilling and then you end up like you know suddenly like six months down the line we're sitting here playing games or we're sort of just hanging out in VC and talking about just complete utter you know nonsense at some point it's like oh well you know this wouldn't have happened in CEX for like five minutes you know yeah and it's just that whole thing of like you do form quite quickly like uh probably really close friendships I guess like you know I'll DM you and just be like you know haven't heard from you for a little bit. I hope you're doing okay. Or, or you know, sorry I haven't popped in stream and stuff like that. It's definitely uh, like, yeah, Drew. You become almost like a family, some sort of weird. Yeah, absolutely. Family, it's yeah. like Twitch family is. It's surprising because everyone wants to support everybody else, and like, everybody wants to be you know part of the family. And you just want to you want to be you know as lovely people. Oh, I see Dara in the chat there. Hello, Dara. Thank you for the follow. Dara is uh, someone that uh, has been drawn by. <laughs> this, is, this is the word cut in chat. Uh, that's Projo's entrance. Uh, oh, yeah. Hello, Projo. I'm just completely this. I was I had something in my head and just just completely popped. <laughs> this is live podcasting, oh. everyone. <laughs> it uh, is. We should we should have planned this beforehand. Seal pup as I, well. Uh, hello to you. Or Hong. But yeah, it's one of those things where you sort of it's surprising that you grow as fast as you do, like to get like towards each other, because it's like. IRL, like you'd be sort of like hanging out a couple of times. It's like, oh, he seems, he seems nice, sort of thing. And then it's like, but on Twitch, it's very much like you sort of see each other a couple of days a week, or you see each other, you know, whenever you get the chance. And it's like, you sort of, yeah, you grow a lot closer. As you talk, like, the thing is, the whole sort of viewer and streamer dynamic is very much like people are just sort of chilling the chat, or you ask them how they are, and you get conversations going like that. And it's sort of when you're sitting just playing games in the same room with somebody, you don't really 
you know, you're, you're talking about the game, or you're talking about something that you have, in, you know, in common, but you don't sort of really talk about other things and get to know each other. Like, it's surprising because it's obviously you were saying just before we, before you went live, that it's been almost a year for you. Yeah. And it's, I think, well, I must have known you for, I must have known you closest to like what almost six months now something like that oh longer than that like it's it, it must be yeah, it must it, be longer like than that. last september i think so it's like is that you were one of the first people i've known on twitch which is sort of it's mad that it's taking you this long to get me on this show yeah i'm <laughs> sorry there's a lot of people nah. there's a lot of people like honestly again with this show it surprises me how many people because I always expect people to say no, and everyone's just like, "Oh my god, I've been waiting Everyone for you wants to, ask to be, me. yeah. And I'm like, "That's very humbling." Uh, it's but before uh, it's we move to the though. game, as, uh, well, thank you very much. And, and again, before we move to the game, because we are going to play the game shortly, uh, one last thing about your Twitch is kind of what can people find you getting up to on Twitch, really? What can games find me and... getting up to? Oh goodness! What's the, if you um, had to sell your channel, sell it now. Okay. If I had to sell my channel, sell it now. Um, oh, how do you? I, I've never been great. I hate job searching, yeah. I hate sort of like having to sell myself to like whatever. So, I'm gonna be bad at this. Um, I, I normally just sort of put a little video on it and put it plays, and you know, it's, it sells it for me. It's like, hey, I did this, it's fine. Just, yeah, just, well, then it's like, just, just play the video, it's fine. Um, I can reenact the video, like, hi, my name's Deck. I, I'm a giant virgin. I play a whole bunch of games. I'm, I can't do it. Um, and you it's do all the set dance up as well, don't you? you do I, could dance. Do the, I could just do the sweet dance, you know? But it's all set up, you know? It's all sort of, I've edited that up. It was a good time. But no, if I had to describe what it's like to be in my community or like you know as part of the family this as as, as it was once dubbed the Sukunami family uh which i can't get that out of it's it's like I'm trying to i just can't get rid of it you just try and it's like a turd that won't flush you can't get rid of the uh <laughs> that name but it's very much it's i try we try to make it as wholesome as possible it's one of those places where i, I very much i want to have and this has always been sort of my my thinking going into twitch where it was like i you know video games for me is a hobby it's a it's a release from like you know whatever's going on in the world so you know it's like if there's something to, like for instance like i know that the current situation in the world is a it's a dreadful and horrible place and people want to escape sort of what's going on and i mean i started like i said i started streaming when i was just coming out of high school starting college and there's a lot of sort of emotions and you don't really know what's going to go on and it was like here I am, this is what I'm sort of wanting to do. I want to be, you know, I want to be full of joy and help people. Like, if people are having a bad day, I want them to sort of feel like, oh, this person's live, we can go and hang out with them for a little bit and maybe I'll sort of feel it better. Because it's like, I... One of the things, and I'm sure you might have seen it already, Snake, uh, with your year of streaming so far, is that I, I've never, like, I don't know what it was that caught me off guard by it, but seeing two people because like, so two people i won't name them uh no because not because they're, they're bad people or that but it's, it's one of those things where they two people met in my chat and they just suddenly became like the closest of friends and suddenly they're sort of they're talking all the time and just hanging out and it's like oh it's with them there and it's like oh you're hanging out and it's like it's just seeing people meet people and hanging out and being super wholesome and kind and it's like my favorite part of being on twitch is just increasing someone's day a little bit better like if it's if it's been a terrible day and they come by like you know what i really need this sort of thing that and the fact my chat bullies me they're never wholesome towards me they're always wholesome to each other never to me i think so, that's just um, a streamer thing that's uh, the thing it's a streamer thing yes yeah. <laughs> might possibly be harassed by your own viewers also hello exactly. Loss, welcome in as well uh it's a oh, Loss is there. Hello. busy old show today so uh well, without further ado let's let's play disney's it. atlantis for warning, uh, the game may be very, very loud. So we is may it, have this to. This isn't a PS. This isn't the PS one. Where, where was my disc? <laughs> <laughs> and we're here. Uh, so yeah, uh, Disney's Atlantis: The Lost Empire. Uh, you ever watched the movie? I have watched the movie. It's a great movie. Milo Thatch, voiced by uh, Michael. Yeah, it's Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Is it Michael J. Fox? Yeah, it was Michael. I'm pretty sure. Well, it must have been. It has to be after Back to the Future. It was made in the eighties, wasn't it? Yeah, Back to the Future. This the 80s. was. This was something I I, I actually I, th I think I've seen the movie first, then I played the game. This way, please, and don't trip on the 
We are playing this, Quarty. Quarty, I was just saying actually before we streamed on the intro, the animation of this film uh, in these video clips is so good. I'm pretty sure it's from the movie though. That's the yeah. thing. It's, it's absolutely all they've done is they put it over the movie. Like, I don't. Once you see the actual gameplay, it's like, yeah, that, that I'm pretty sure that was the movie. <laughs> Uh, the film's pretty good, Blue Lou. I, I imagine it's probably on Disney Plus. You've never seen the film? I, I, I don't believe it. That's that's a Disney classic. That's like saying you haven't seen the, the Lion King, and I haven't done that, but still. I've not. Uh, I've not seen the Lion King. We should do that at some point. There's Whitmore. Oh, I love Whitmore. I'm pretty sure the boomerangs. Sorry, I'm, I'm, it's, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> I know how this works. When he died, he asked me to train you for the dangerous journey. Before I let you go, you'll have to complete a few tasks. The game itself is Ask actually yourself. quite quiet. Copy my moves. It's just the video clips. Jumping. I've heard it up on my end. Mick, so hello, mate. Bugs. How are you doing? Hope everything's going well with you as well. You're in control. I am, but there's no controller. Oh. Oh, wait. Is it one of those games that... I don't know. <laughs> I'll get my PS1 controller, oh. shall I? Next. Close range combat. Oh, you it tells you. Actually, it's a tutorial, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you can't move your character yet. You have to just press the button he asked you to press. Okay. I hate the tutorials like that. Don't forget like, just let me run about. High flying objects by ducking out of their way. Whoa. Finally, remember that if you're ever unsure what to do, just take a good look around you. It's such like, there's so many like different sort of features to the game where it's like, why is this a, you know, why is this a feature of the game where you can just walk, you know, look around? Hey, I feel like older games really had like, super out there features. It feels now, like a, a bit Tomb Raider in the control put it on the bookcase department. The That's a fair play. Okay, I'll see it behind that. It's weird, I'm, I'm being brought back immediately to sitting in my childhood bedroom uh, and playing this. Because I can't so, remember this. I don't know if if you know this, Snake, about me. Uh, I'm very much, you know, I have to get everything in a game. I'm very much complete, completionist. We'll get, in, oh. we'll, get into the, the, we'll get into the fish tank later, okay? We have to go in there for a piece of the Atlantis symbol. Oh, do Now, um, told me I'm planning to feature. basically make you, you get all the Atlantis symbols in the first level. Okay. <laughs> That is today's anyway, goal, then. My third task, I, want you to I remember... It, how many letters are Atlantis? Seven? A, T, L, A, N, I, T, S, eight? Yeah. Was like you can show how educated we are because we get the, the fingers <laughs> out and we start... <laughs> it's, it's a, a, L, N, T. <laughs> T, L, A, N, T, I, S. Seven? I think it's seven. I could oh, just oh. count them on the. I could just count them on the case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There's eight. There's eight of them. Right. So we have to look around the place for. Was it a key set? I I wasn't listening. I was making. Oh, sick. I, I remember you through the boiler room at some point. So that's down that. That's down in that dark room corner there. I know that. I never played this before. Press the search button to turn um, on I never played this before school back in the day. Excellent. Uh, that'll shed a little light on things. <laughs> Why is that voice like? Uh, I believe <laughs> that is you... actually Ratchet's voice from Ratchet and Clank. It sort of. It really is. Oh, there's one. There's a piece of the. There's a piece of the this thing. Maybe a good place to search for the key. Uh, there's two pieces of the, the latter symbol there. One there. there. I believe there's one hidden behind. So if you go behind the chest. Guess. A quick punch will um, like to the to the right, I think it is. There's one hidden in there. Oh, oh you're no, wrong. The, I think is it the other side then? Is there a different? There should be another one in there, right? Oh, he's yes. Vaguely. There it is. The memory's coming back. I knew it. He's in. Hello, welcome in. If you collect enough Atlantean symbols to spell the word Atlantis, the movie for that level will be available in the movie viewer. I wish I, used to, I wish I just used to sit and watch the, the movie all over again. You know what, I game. used to do that with the Toy Story 2 video game, which I love. Oh, that's, 
there's a really good OST. I don't know if it's from the Toy Story. Is there a Toy Story 1 game? But uh, the Toy Story 2 game where it's like a really good OST, like Back Alley was a really good song. Yeah. Toy Story 2 was on PlayStation 1. The original Toy Story was on uh, Mega Drive. Okay. Genesis. Yeah, Toy Story, the original Toy Story 2 game was really good. And the same with Toy Story 3, I had it on the Wii. It was surprisingly good. Treasure Planet, I never saw that one. <gasps> Treasure Planet's a, another great movie. T knows exactly what's up. <laughs> Treasure Planet is fun. I'm pretty sure Treasure Planet also has Michael J. Fox in it again. I'll come back later and try again. Was that, was that a Disney one? Uh, I feel like that might have been... Maybe Dreamworks. Like, uh, a Dreamworks kind of thing. I'm going to quickly double check. I'm sure it's tre Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet. 2002 film. Oh, was it, did I say Disney movie? Oh, it's Treasure Planet Disney. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was what uh, Joseph Gordon Lewis in it as well. I thought it was also, apparently that was the person who, uh, who voiced the main character. I thought that was Metal G. Fox again. What is, that's for changing your character, I'm pretty sure. I think you can change between, oh, it's the mole! Oh, the Audrey! Can't remember his name. He has a very nice moustache, though. He's a very nice moustache. He was the, uh, he was the demolition expert. So, so Milo Thatch. Oh, is that you activate? Are you telling me that all these years that's how you activate a checkpoint? The door apparently so. So you can, <laughs> apparently so, Dick. Are you kidding me? Mm. I didn't it know that. It could have been that easy all along. To be fair, back in the day when I used to play on the, the PlayStation 1, I didn't ever have a memory card. So I always just thought, game, like, you know, my, my, my game experience is always a case of arcade games were originally my, my thing where it's like, if you die, that was the end, they'd start again. You, you know what was painful though? When I had, uh, I got a PlayStation 2. Uh, and, and didn't realise that the memory cards were different. Uh, well, the, I think we, well, the thing is, we had that talk earlier this year, because we were talking about Silent Hill. Yeah. Uh, you, 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 need to go, you need to go back into the boiler room for the key, okay. I'm pretty sure. Because um, I have a 60 hour Silent Hill file now, because I didn't know that you couldn't save the PS2 memory card. Yeah. They... I'm pretty sure the key's inside the boiler? There's... Maybe wrong. Like, I think you get towards the door. Can you get them there? No. Hmm. What's that? Is that a typewriter that's sitting on that box? I. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time. Two grown men struggle to play a child's game. <laughs> <laughs> There's a map. Right. Okay. Something about. Oh, can you, can you, have you got an inventory? Uh, I know you can open your inventory at some point. I can't remember which one it is, though. Whoa. Whoa. I can say, whoa. You're just whoa. headbutting the, head head the desk. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 see, Turn there's like, a switch here, uh, but it won't yeah. let me press it. There's some kind of switch here, but it doesn't appear to work. I'll come back later and try again. Uh, oh, oh, no, you come back in the dark. Oh. I think you come back in the dark, and then that we can switch it on. And that works. Or at least I remember thinking about this as a kid. I think I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna take me. No, maybe not. <laughs> two two grown men still to play Atlantis. This is, this is what we do again. Well, welcome to the next era of the stream, folks. <laughs> There's gotta be. How do I? How did I do this before? You can't get through there without the. Put the key. What more? A, I'm sure there's an inventory button. Oh. Hey, you found my lost oh. item. Oh, okay, that was all we now, need to do. Okay. <laughs> First, oh, there is. The the yeah, the, the, actually, it controls really quite well, uh, Moff. Are you using a controller for it, or how are you I'm, doing it? I'm using uh, a, a PlayStation 1 controller. It's like a third party okay. PlayStation 1 controller. Oh, okay, I get you. The camera's not too bad. Down, Where's the compass? The in the backpack that contains the portfolios. Got the end of a broken key. I think you can. Equi I think you can um, right. What's it called? Portfolio you put the keys together. Hey. I think there's a crafting system in this game. Here's Commander Roar. He's an overall oh, the music. I remember he. I remember him turning out to be a bad guy. Oh, he's an absolute dick in the, in the movie. Sinclair, the expedition second in command. I'm, Get I'm... your journey, you'll need help from a team of specialists. We've got the best of the best. When you need their help, just call them on a the radio. Here's the team. Vinny, 
Damn Vinny, that's right. Busted him Eat a flower shop. <laughs> Audrey, don't let her age fool you. She's forgotten more about it. Spoilers. Than I'm you sorry for spoiling the film chat. Oh man. Oh, the voice yeah. of Grandpa. Uh, I'm not sure. Molly, yeah. I love them all. Oh, it's also the Doctor. The Doctor's great as well. Now time for your fourth and final task. I got Tommy. Oh, you always I know. Actually, I should be able to tell me Jones. I didn't know that actually. You know someone's going to be evil if they're played by Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, he, Men in Black. He wasn't evil. Men in Black. He's just a dick in that though, wasn't he? Before you can enter the room, you'll need a key. I like Tommy Lee Jones. I like him. But I'm just saying he has a. Kind of air about him. Oh, nice. we're going in the fish tank. Stay. Are you excited? <laughs> Oh, I I played this area so much as a kid. The music swelled. Find the first oh. piece of the key. Select it, and then select combine. Have you got now, a second piece of the key? Select the second piece. Once combined, both pieces will yep. form there you a are. usable key. I've got to say, one of my favorite parts of the show as well, chat, it is having people on and uh, uh, um, when they haven't played the game in so long and just having those memories flood back it, for me. It's so. Just a filling. I actually plan to play this game. I bought it. I, 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 I lost my original copy, I'll be honest. Uh, this is a bought copy I had to buy. Uh, but it was one of those things where I bought it in order to play it with my granddad one more time. Like, um, I thought with like, with Corona, we'd have a, more, a lot more sort of time together. And uh, I'm going to spend, some, I'm going to sort of set up a CRT and just sit in the living room and, talk and play with them. I mean, so so it That's and it's so just, great. it's just one of those things that sort of would make me really happy. Oh, can you not drown him? Because I don't want to, I don't want to see him drown. Oh, you can drown? So much as a kid. I don't know you can drown. I'll try my best. There's another item, I think, behind the, there's one there, I think there's one against the other one as well. If you go to the other, uh, the other alcove, there should be one there as well. Yes, they are. Uh, I believe there's also one in the uh, one in the fish tank. Yeah, there's one there. Uh, the the boomerangs in the fish tank. I know that. Oh um, God, how'd you? <laughs> swim up, swim up, <laughs> swim up. <laughs> uh, see, there's what was. Oh, it's, oh, that's a. Can you increase your health with that? Or how does that work? I can't remember that. that it's life. Sorry about that. Uh, there's the there's the boomerang. That's a good one. That's used for it. There's a, there's a really cool mini game later on, um, where you pretty much uh, throw your boomerang at masks, and you're supposed to get points. And I believe you actually get the last letter of Atlantis for this level. Ooh. You can talk to Whitmore again. Okay. I'll bet you're dying to give that boomerang a try. But you'll need to equip Oh, the memories first. that came you back to you from you seeing Hoagie's book crack last boomerang. week, Quote. Beautiful. Oh man! Oh, I'm so excited. So, yeah, if you equip the boomerang now, I believe the switch in the bottom room might open up a um, it might open the the, the shooting range sort of thing. Equip will take you out of the back. Excellent. Now you'll always have the boomerang at hand. That might be just as well considering where you're going. You know, I have to go back and watch a movie after this, right? Like after the stream, I have to go well, and watch a movie. Going, uh, <laughs> Disney Plus. And... <laughs> yeah, let's Disney Plus it and just enjoy it, because it's. I, I never, knew, I never knew there was a second one, but apparently it's not as good. Was it when there's? Because oh, I, I know Disney were quite famous, so they spend a lot of money on a film, put it in cinemas, and then they do like a low-budget straight to DVD sequel. I mean, sometimes the low budget straight to uh, DVD sequel is, you know, sometimes they go a little bit too hard for us. For instance, look at a uh, mm. look at what's it called? The Scooby Doo movies. Oh, quote, you can confirm that the sequel to uh, Atlantis oh, yeah, the, is, is the shit. sequel is absolute wank. It's not great at all. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, you uh, you got a whole bunch of upgrades and stuff there. You can go pick up. And then I believe if you complete the uh mysterious green crystals can be found in each area of the journey. Uh, the combined power will unlock a secret. Finding all of them may be worth our time. I like how he talks to the player, like he's like, you know, it's a journey with him too. Target range. Stand on the Atlantean symbol on oh, the this music! Play. Hit the mask to score points and try to beat Whitmore's score. But watch out for the skulls. Uh anyway. You should be able to it's the loop button. 
it's the uh, you equip it and then you look at, and you also do the the loot gear there. So they should start. I think you I think you might fire it once, or at least you go to or maybe you go to the the board first and activate it. There's a board on your left. Oh, uh, I well, also see a symbol. There. there also you also can play the um the mini game film. Oh man. There you are. I think, can you activate that? Can you do anything with the uh, with the board? I believe you can. You can scratch your head. I, th I thought you could. I remember playing this mini game. How do I play? <laughs> um. Hit the. Uh, I remember hitting the sarcophagus and like there'd be a mask inside there, but I don't know if that's during the mini game or not. I feel like it is. Yeah. Is there a is there a switch to activate? Uh, there's a water feature. Maybe it's a water feature in like a basement. Uh, that is the question here. Well, if this was in like the Elder Scrolls, it would be a water feature of like blood or something in the yeah, and the, you know, you'll, 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 I don't know, you'll poison it, and the, you know, you get your data armor or something. Something along those lines. <laughs> I, I, I really want to do that that, uh, that that range. I don't know how you do it though. Is there a button in it elsewhere? Uh... Oh, Doctor Whitmore. See what he says. He's at, he's at the uh, he's at the fireplace now. See what he's. He, oh, actually, he does he does kung fu, isn't he? He does like chai tea or something. In, uh... Uh, he's in his flashing robe, so I'm a bit <laughs> worried about that. <laughs> don't worry. It's true. <laughs> I better not disturb you. Oh. Okay. How do I? I don't. I don't, I don't leave you. I want to. I want to do the thing. <laughs> I, want to, I want to do the range. Run limited time. <laughs> oh, I know, but you this know is, what? This I'm, is, I'll play, I'll play if you want to see a full then. playthrough of this, uh, this is what you should follow. Sukanami. So He'll be doing a full series, uh, <laughs> in-depth playthrough. I've never seen this screen because I never saved. <laughs> Crash 2%. Oh, I can't believe I did not mention me. how terrible I am at Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I'm, we, I'm we, sorry, I played chat. that I'm with Suko Nama. Uh, not Suko Nama, we played that with, and I was See you later. horrific. I was like, when did I, when did I appear on this show before? <laughs> <laughs> I appeared on Dreams, it's not a. Uh... Oh, okay, so this this sort of explains. Can you go any further down? Can you see all the all the? You missions? can't. No. Okay, I've only ever got as far as Leviathan attack. <laughs> okay, well that's the challenge for today. Can we speed run the next? I told my grand that I was playing this game with you, and he went. Uh, oh, no, sorry, I hope it's a cutscene. Hold on. Yeah, it's a cutscene, so it's going to be uh, loud than anything else. Oh, is this going to get me DMCA by Disney as well? Oh, man. I hope everyone's enjoying watching this live as well. I love how you just know every note. <laughs> so Brilliant. Good. I love this. I love this game and this movie. I'm going to know everything about it. I just didn't know how to beat the game. <laughs> It's like a broken sword game, but in 3D. I believe we get to play as Vinny and uh, Audrey as well in this mission. This mission. Expedition is underway. The journal speaks of ancient guardians, uh, protectors of the gateway to Speaking Atlantis, of broken sword, Blue Lou, uh, not sure if you are following Quoty, but probably should. Oh, he's lovely. Uh, there are things in the works, I will say. Bitch, how do you not know every because, note? <laughs> That's exactly it. It's, it's a film I've probably exactly watched it. about three times that I don't remember anything of. Have you seen this movie three times? If that, probably less. I probably I, I remember seeing it in the cinemas and I watched it I at home. I remember watching this movie and then we lost the disc for this movie. For the, like, for the you know, we lost the, uh, we had like a DVD of it. Oh, yeah, we lost oh, it. So, yeah, I so, had somebody, VHS. so my grandparents thought, hey, let's give them the Iron Giant. And, I, and then I on purposely lost the Iron Giant so we get this copy back again. We've got a crisis. I absolutely hate the Iron Giant. We're under it's not as good. Spit on the Iron Giant. And get her to repair him. That is not Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. No. <laughs> I don't think it sounds like him at all. 
Uh, right, I believe, uh, if I remember a lot of things, I don't. Uh, you can go through that door there, and you also the door th behind you as well. I don't know where that all went, though. Uh, you, yeah, okay, you need Audrey for this. So yeah, you push the barrel. Wait, Milo's a strong character? I mean, he'll be a little bit like a giant virgin, but he can push things, yes. <laughs> you should be able to, I think you, yeah, they are. Can you go back to the other room and see if, there's a, if there, you can go through there? Because I completely forgot if there's something there. Uh, I was thinking that, uh, Blue Lou. It, it, it sounds very much like the guy who does Obi-Wan in all the cartoons. I believe this uh, is... there's the character. This, 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 this is where you can change to Audrey. Right. So if you want to, I believe you can swap between Audrey and uh, Vinny here. Okay, I'm here. Oh, I love Vinny. <laughs> can we play as Vinny? Should we play as Vinny or Milo? Yeah, Vinny's uh, Vinny is a de he's a demolitionist, but he also had a flower shop, and just the way that he talks, but he's like, I had a flower shop, and you know the fertilizer just exploded, and I was like, oh no, whatever will I do? My man's got grenades. He's just. Should we just end the movie here? It's, oh, he's just invincible. Kill Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> Oh goodness! Looks like the core I think you can destroy. Have Vinny uses explosives to clear the wreckage. Okay. See, chat. See. We preemptively knew what was. I there. definitely didn't know this. <laughs> I just can't believe I just went to play as Vinny. <laughs> Go on, Snake. Get a better throw. You throw like a girl. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Do we have actual? Oh, we have actual explosives. Do you? Okay. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yeah. oh. Okay. One of the sub's ladders. Milo can climb up walls like this. Go up to grab hold. Can you also destroy the boxes that were in the other room then? There's, there's another... I um, don't know what you'll get for it, but there's some boxes in there. I bet there's a symbol. Oh, I bet there's a symbol. There absolutely has got to be a symbol. Oh, no. Oh, you can't beat them? No. Nope. I remember... I think I, might, I think I might have found them all on this level as well. We can want at least two, uh, two Atlantis cutscenes. Vinny has like Hulk smash. Is he? He looks awfully um, not a bad way. He looks awfully German. Here's a gun. Oh, yeah. He's like the uh, he is uh, like a stereotypical German. I don't know why. I don't think he is German. You need uh, you need Audrey for this. He's, uh, oh, okay. he's not, uh, is I want to know if he's actually German or not. Like um, Vinny. Is Vinny from not Emmerdale? Is Vinny from Atlantis? Uh, German. Oh, I'm just grenading everything right now. He apparently was, he's Italian. Italian oh. demolitions expert. I remember. Uh, I remember her flirting with Milo in the movie, and then he goes off with an Atlantean girl. Much like Jesse's girl, <laughs> my Latin girl. I, I again, I can't remember. I'm trying to remember about the movie now, but it's. I remember spent. I remember spending a whole weekend trying to figure out how to do this, and we did it in the last ten seconds. I can. I was a bit of a stupid kid. I don't we think she can climb though. Maybe, no, maybe she can't climb. Milo. Okay. It's gonna be a boy Milo again. I love Milo, man. Oh, Milo she's Fetch. got. Oh, she's. I can hate. I believe that it's a uh, is that a flare gun sort of thing? Uh, yes, I heard to play as mole. Very upset about that. I'm sure he just digs a lots, a whole, a lots, lots of holes. You see, they constantly keep telling people, they, uh, you know, a lot of these fans that like this movie want them to make a sequel. Well, they want to uh, a live action sequel. A live action film. Uh... And I think that the words have been uh, top of Holland for Milo Thatch. I can see that. Um, Died of you for the mole. A flag gun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Mick. Uh, you know that dude from Avatar? Um, that's like the bad guy, the colonel bad guy. I walked out of Avatar, the film. I didn't like that. Okay. Film. Uh, to your left, I think there's a I think you can get an item that way. Yes. Uh, yes, I was right. Oh. Unless you stop. Oh, you stop carders. I think you. I think you can swim in here actually. Milo's not bad at swimming. You can do this. I believe this takes you to, uh, yes, another item there. 
Uh, and there should be like some, I think there's handlebar, uh, not handlebars, monkey bars. Can you jump up there? Is that possible? I don't uh, think you could, almost could do it. I assume not. No, not yet. There's no. other doors. You need though. to monkey bar across. Remember monkey bars? Remember how fun they used to be? I remember My local falling off them. Away. I used to, I used to thought it was, I used to think it was really impressive if I could climb the monkey bars, and I did it one day, and nobody watched. I was like, right, fine, I'll not do it again, ever again. Then. And then the local park took away the monkey bars. I was like, well, I guess I'm, you know, I am 22 now. I probably shouldn't be playing my monkey bars. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> sick. This was last week. Show, showing up all the, all the, all the kids. Like, look what I can do. Look, yeah, look at me. <laughs> okay, we've got a fire extinguisher. That's for later on. That door that that man's blocking will, uh, it will be basically on fire. Oh, we need... There's a lot of character switching. There's a lot of character switching. I never really, never really realized how much character switching there was until we started playing this game again. <laughs> I remember thinking like, oh, you can just be this character if you want to be, you know, it's like, you can just be a different character. But I didn't realize, sort of as a kid, it's like, oh no, they've all got different uh, abilities. Is there an Avatar game now? Yeah, sure. they're, they're, they're making an Avatar game. Uh, Ubisoft are making it, so it, it'll just be Assassin's Creed, probably, but with... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Probably best to switch back to Milo for a little bit, and then... I think he is better for... Uh, I think... He, I don't know if, they, if it's shared inventory, or if it's just Milo has the backpack, so you can get to be... Um, you to use items. You ever watch the Iron Giants, Nick? I feel like I have, but I cannot recollect that I have. Uh, it's got Vin Diesel, and it's a giant robot. Does it have Vin Diesel in? Yeah, he's, he's like Vin Diesel. I think Vin Diesel's like the um, an army dude that tries to get um, to take the, the giant robot back back again. And he's like, I'm not a robot. I am. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's like a Frankenstein thing where he's like, I'm not a robot or whatever. I'm not. I'm not a weapon. I'm a robot or whatever. Something like that. There's a monkey bar. See, that's that's where it go. was before. Never too raging. It's all coming back to me now. At one point, they're going to basically tell you, like, hey, we're going to break, basically, you know, escape. You know, this, the, you know, the Ulysses is going down. Don't escape. Just look around the ship and try and get all the, the parts. I want the second movie unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this game was, like, really, really good from, like, the deeper you got into it, the year. Alright. Why does he sound a bit like David Lynch, actually, this guy? The guy playing He does Turner. sound awfully, like, yeah, I definitely get you. Oh, you have to equip the, um, you have to equip the, um, fire extinguisher. I feel like I'm telling you how to play the game, but at the same time, I think this is, like, the whole, sort of... Wait, where's the fire extinguisher gone? Oh, Did there you, we go. It's, it's, it's on a third um, menu for some reason. That is strange, isn't it? it should, I, I feel like she does have one menu. Kelly Silent Hill. I had one, one menu. Um, I don't remember. Let me see. Uh, the left is probably the way for the secret. I'll be honest. So yeah. let's do that. Uh, I remember being very panicking as a kid. Like, oh no, I'm gonna. Try, I'm not gonna have enough time. You literally get 90 seconds worth of uh, time. Uh, okay, it should be good. I believe you can go back through here after you stop those blades. Yeah, I'm sure. Trying to fight blades off will not end particularly well. Look at that, see? I remember all of it. I'm not lie, I played this game last week now. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, it's, so, say, like, you remember. it's so surprising that I remember as much as I do. I was off. I remember trying to build these sort of things at Lego as a kid. <laughs> I was like, I love this movie so much, I wanted to build... I wanted Lego Atlantis at some point. And they, they ended up doing Lego Atlantis, but not sort of this movie. It was just like their own sort of thing. Oh, I was terrible at that. Yeah, you're, you're good. It's, it was pretty bad at this. Oh. Go. Oh, good job. Professional at timing. Professional retro gamer. See, there's just something about that. I don't know if it, it's because it was my first proper console, but for... For some reason, I, I love the PS1 kind of art style. Oh, no, absolutely. I think it's the it's the it's the poly, it's the way that it's like the polygons. So we have to let we have to let uh, the general leave first, then then pop that. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure because it's like you have to let them go, and then you're able to do it to get the other items. 
of a can of food. Oh, that was. Look at your can of food, you just. <laughs> <laughs> Pointless heel. And you've got a first aid kit, you could, you could just use that. Oh, we might have to. Okay. Oh. oh. Piece of a lion's by the door. We're missing a good few. We are. I'll fix that, don't worry. I'm just waiting there for like indie developers to start making games in this kind of aesthetic style. Like I know they've they made... They would sell. They would absolutely sell. You can go back now and turn off the um... The, like the switch yet tried to boo before. We should probably use that first aid kit then just to yeah, get me through. I'm gonna be honest, you probably should. I'll only give you 20% wow. health. <laughs> that's, you. that's at least twice you're gonna met. You could mess up. Yeah, there's one. Do you remember the? I know we're talking about. You know, obviously this shows all about nostalgia and stuff. Mm. Um, I was just thinking, sort of, it's boiling up sort of memories of like when I was a kid. Do you remember the animated X Men uh, TV show? Uh, the the Fox one. The one that went. Uh, yeah. That one. Your voice yeah. crackled all the way through that. I'm not sure why, but uh, uh, yeah. So, so. Uh, yeah, that's that one. That game was uh, not the game. Sorry, that TV that show was really good. Same with like the Radio of Spider Man. Thing. Yeah. It was super good. I was a. Uh, what can uh, I say? It's funny, we Big were fun. talking about kids TV last week with Quote E and how really it was like the peak time of, of children's TV during that period. I believe there are, oh. watch out because they will hurt you. I believe you can get um, a pack to lock you. There's a crystal there. I believe there's, there might be one in the bed somewhere. Oh. Just keep an eye out. I need, I out, need, I need you're, oxygen. You're right yeah, I'm getting a little bit worried, I'll be honest. Can you go up? No, no. Oh, thatch, thatch, thatch. This is like Tomb Snake. Raider all over. Oh, si oh. Snake! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Quote. Uh, we, uh, we're just saying. Uh, afternoon, Nuka. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh wow. Here. There's probably another reason why I stopped playing this game because I'm kind of, the thing is I noticed this because I was playing I was a I just finished playing Medieval on stream. I ended up giving up on that game because it's it's very difficult. Um, but it's one of those things where you basically you don't sort of realise how unforgiving games used to be. It was just a case of like, hey, I've, you died, now start again. Sort have of you thing. tried the remake of Medieval? Yeah, that's the one I, that's the one I, uh, I tried. That's what uh, I was playing. Do you feel it, it, it definitely should have been adjusted for modern games? Because it's so... It, the character feels really... slippy. It, yeah, like, it They've feels done like... a really good job of remaking it and making it feel like an old game, but also... It's 20... I would also appreciate 20. some checkpoints. Yeah. <laughs> checkpoints would be nice. Uh, yeah. Well, didn't they do the same thing with, like, when they remaster Crash and the same with Spyro? Like, they've, 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 it's the Spyro the remake is probably my favourite one, because it's just... I'm, I've really never... Really good. I'm, I'm not afraid to... No, actually, I'm afraid to say this, because your chat will slew me. I'd rather play a Spyro or a Crash. Uh, um, I'm more of a Spyro man. I feel like you so should play probably, Spyro 1. I to play them eventually. Man, you have to be, like, so... Like... Careful with this one. Wait, they are very hard. To... I think it's one of those things where I am, I'm sure that you also have it a lot playing games on Twitch, where it's like you. At least the blades are stuff. You have to do all that stuff again. Oh, that's good. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus um, is another one I, I I didn't play until recently, and is now one of my favourite games. Uh, I was never. I never knew you could get more grip in Shadow of the Colossus uh, by eating the fruit. Oh, it saved all the progress, so I've just swum down here for, for nothing. Okay, okay, let's not drown. Try to get back out. <laughs> this, you're going to try again, aren't you? Oh, God. Oh, oh. Go that way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh dear. Please. Oh, it... oh. Oh, we can do this. I, I wasn't surprised there. I, I definitely knew that was there. Oh. 
I clenched a little bit there, I'll be honest. Uh, Ratchet and Clank is the game you hold most nostalgia for. Well, Dara, uh, next week on the show, we, on Saturday next week, not Sunday, Saturday, Pro Joe will be joining us. So that's another one. I think that's one of those things where I knew after... Oh, so you, 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 you got yourself a PS5 yourself, didn't you? Yeah. You, uh, oh, there's breathing spaces here. Oh, there's wow. breathing spaces. I, I didn't didn't remember this, um, I'll be honest. Um, that's the way we just came in. Oh, it's not. I lied. I, I, this, is, this is not my game, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also, too, have not played a Ratchet and Clank. But it's one of those things where I think once I... So I was very much an Xbox kid growing up. I, I, I quite all I, I don't really it's one of those where you also had that sort of I think when you're when you're little it's like oh I, you know PlayStation's better Xbox is better whatever you have like you know console wars what well, more well, um, but like nowadays it's like I just go with the games I don't really mind what console they're on like you know for me Ratchet and Clank never them. really got me uh, for me it would have been point, at point, that point, time I played the original Jack and Daxter a lot. My cousins played Ratchet and Clank, uh, which yeah. is really, really uh, so I don't know much about Ratchet and Clank. Uh, other than well, I played the things... the remake on the PlayStation Four and uh, the new one on PS Five. Also, good afternoon, Beats as well. I have seen your message. Uh, and Nuka, uh, good luck with the, the pack in. Everyone with the move. I uh, hope everyone's going well. Uh, and Babble Faff as well. Hello to you. Uh, but yeah, carry on, Suka. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was saying that um, I very much became all those things where it's like sort of, the, sort of mainly where obviously the Xbox you play, whatever, you play, you know, they're, they're exclusives. And I, really, no, no, I wasn't able to play the PlayStation exclusives. So now I'm sort of going back, now that I'm sort of primarily PlayStation now. There's a snake, let's go! Yeah, we've got another video clip. Oh, movie activated. Let's go. Let's... Um, I, I'm trying to go back and do the things that I should have done growing up, but I should have played, you know, Spyro or Crash and Ratchet and Jack and Dad and Sly. Sly is one that uh, everyone, you know, I've got a friend that's like being a Sly, and I haven't played on that one before yet. I'm really glad uh, you actually. You that lever, I think? Yeah, because uh, I don't know about for you, but for me, you know, having missed these games is great when I'm on Twitch because if it's a quiet period and there's no big release or there's nothing taking my fancy, I can just delve back into these classics. Oh, Shadow exactly, of the Colossus. Yeah. Dude, we did, did high five. I've never played Sly either, mm. Cody. Uh, so I trust in your judgment. Did you high five me back or did you leave me hanging? Time to get the memory card ready. Oh, well, you've done it. Uh, I'm doing it now. Cool. There you are. Um, but no, it's, yeah, it's one of those things where I very much... I... I know where, I know what you mean though. It's you can definitely. Well, the thing is, I don't really sort of. Pl I still I don't play like all the big games when they come out. It's like, I think you. I think I don't know if you find this as well. Where it's like, okay, I, I'm not. I'm no used to after this. <laughs> I'm no used to after this. Right, so this is the level we have to beat. You basically just fit this big level Ethan in these little pods, and I have no idea how to do it. Or I never. Or I, I, maybe I had a glitched version of the game. I don't know, but we just couldn't beat it. Well, if we can beat this, we can end the show on, on a high point, and I think. If we beat this, I think oh. I'll tell my grandma that we did it. This is 22 years in the making, so. Oh, it's, it's inverted, the controls are. It is not hard, I'll be honest. We're just probably really stupid. <laughs> Oh. Oh, those are the. Oh, on, Snake. You got this. You're right. You're right. You're good. Five more. You got this. <laughs> Here we go. Can we first try it? Keep going. Oh. Man, this bit ain't messing about, is it? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we deck had a problem here. We deck and this is like fucking his uh, 50 dot grad at the time. <laughs> Left? Right? Uh. Very annoying because like, he doesn't. Back in the day, like, it's a bit so difficult, but it's like, I think it's one of those things where now that you sort of have grown up and you're sort of much more capable of understanding things, like it's, it's, you ever find that like, when you were, like, you know, going back to games that you used to play as a kid and then you, you sort of go back, because you, you never able to finish them or whatever, and now you, uh, now you go back to them and now it's like, that was, how did you find this difficult, you know? What was stopping from doing this, like, being this? It's, it's having like the hand eye coordination. Oh. I'm, I'm calling you out there, I'm calling you out, you're good. Oh, there's one more. Right, 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 sorry. I got my. I got the wrong. Down, down. Oh, Let's go. Get out of here. Let's go, dude. Holy moly. A oh, there's, there's, there's more. A drop, a drop, a drop, a drop, a you can always tell I've never been this far in the game. Is it a boost? What's oh, health? Okay, it's the first try, Rebel. Oh, oh there's oh, letters oh, as well. Same. Oh my god, this. Uh oh. We never got them all here. Oh, I'll keep an eye out for letters. Oh, we got a checkpoint. There's a letter, there's a letter. Yeah, there's a letter. We'll get the letter. Oh, this level ain't messing about. Look here. Oh, it's hot. It's oh, a hot. Sorry, my Where you right, I think. Oh. And this is designed for children. I know, right? Oh, we'll look at the so far. Okay. Oh. Checkpoint. Health there. Is that a letter above? Are you on? I thought I seen something. What did you? What did you? Sorry. Hey, there it is. You can obviously tell I got my left and right mixed up. <laughs> this is a, a sheer moment of concentration. Uh, oh, need that health. health. Need the health. Oh. See another letter. No letter. Yep. Got the final. Crystal. That's green crystal. Here we go. All the key emeralds. Oh. Well. One more. There's the That's final it. one. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> Man, this level's long. No one you can get through it. You can get past the fight, there is a fight. <laughs> Let's go. I think you end up in an underground cavern. If that's, what, if that's what I remember from the actual movie. I've never seen what happens next, but Time to get oh man! Good job. Well, you can beat it, I or I beat it for you. He beat it for me. Thank you for thank you for fixing okay. twenty two years. Uh, before before obviously, I, I think you said you wanted to end off there. Could you watch the oh, video for the Leviath, for the go? Ulysses again? We should watch the video. Yeah. Uh, you sure you want to quit the game? Yes, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, Nika, uh, I I do not have mechanical implants. Uh, <laughs> I'm aware of. Uh, I think it's special features. Yeah. It should just be. I think it's just the, the movie from like the um from the you know, the game. But I still want to see like the the whole moment where the submarines come, comes down and stuff. Intro. Uh, did we watch the intro trailer on the start of the stream? Ulysses. There we go. That's the one. Welcome to nostalgia. And the animation's so good for this film.
So it goes off again, loving the music. Loving the music. Oh. Yeah, Babel, it's really holding up well. Even on these like compressed PS1 videos. I think we're all gonna meet we're all gonna like hang out tonight and watch this maybe. <laughs> Oh, thank you for bringing me back to a happier time. Oh, I'm this more was, than uh, happy. This is why I love doing this show. Was, I've cried. I've been honest. I'm, I'm a little bit cheered up here. It's well, that's it the was first. Something. That's the first, but uh, hopefully it's good. And that uh, was that yeah. was nice. <laughs> I hope oh, you goodness. enjoyed your uh, air or so. I am indeed a child once more blue. Oh. Uh, let me just get a shout out for I guess one more time. If you're not following Sukunami, oh, <laughs> give him a follow. Because uh, that was a really, again, these episodes are getting, they're so fun. Uh, back next week with Projo playing uh, Ratchet and Clank on the PS2. Ooh, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, how was that Sukunami? I'll be honest, like, it's it's for the driver I got as a as a kid. Like that's, that's like you just, I you know I, after this I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through to my grand and say we we did it we we beat the, we got we got we beat, we beat the Leviathan, and uh, we're probably gonna cry together in sync. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm genuinely just I'm I was, it's been <laughs> it's been so long and it's just I, it was something I just sort of. It's 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 been such a, it's such a precious memory for me, and to sort of re like be able to relive it in that such a way like I play lot, I play lots of games and you play lots of games you know, but sometimes games don't really they don't have the same effect on you as they used to sort of thing you know what I mean like you know, there's not ones that stick out for you as as much as the ones the original ones did, so it's um it's <laughs> just really happy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I just. Uh, oh. Your response right now is quite wholesome and wonderful, and and thank oh. you for wanting to appear on the show. Uh, first thank and you for foremost, me. I'm more thank than you so happy much. to have invited you on. Uh, so before we head off as well, Suko, what are you going to be getting up to this week? And uh, this week, oh goodness, on, on your channel, because you're channel. doing your uh, one stream a day thing. Does that mean you're going to be streaming I've today? I've been, I've been streaming. So today, I, after after this, and about, but I think about, about eight p.m. I, as it says in the shirt right there, I, I'm doing a. I'm going to actually play through Layers of Fear in its entirety. So it'll be like I think it's only about four hours, five hours long. So we're gonna sit down, uh, do an entire long play. Uh, I'm currently, uh, I'm currently playing through Final Fantasy VII remake because the because obviously the Final Fantasy VII remake got its uh, PS5 uh, upgrade and like the new DLCs out. Uh, starting Mario Galaxy for the first time uh, next week, and I just picked up and I was saying to Snake. Uh, just before the start, all started, I'm, a, I'm sort of a big fan of horror. Enjoy some horror that I've just picked up the uh, the Chillers art uh, games. So it's about 11, 12 uh, indie games that are Japanese sort of horror, one to two hour long. So uh, last week we did the the, uh, the convenience store, and today we're gonna do night delivery. Oh, no, sorry, next week we're doing night delivery. So that's the that's the plan though. But it's uh, yeah. It's a nice sort of time to sort of. I think it's one of those things where I when I started, the idea of doing it every single day, is a little bit like, you know, oh, you know, it seems a bit, you know, to be on every single day, it seems tiring. Or if you're not in the mood for it, it seems a bit, you know, out of the, you know, out of there. But it's generally, for me at least, I can definitely say that it's such an impact on my mental health and my physical health that I, I'm such I'm such much more of a happy person that I stream every single day because it's like I get to see my friends, I get to see lovely people all the time and it's I, I think it's one of those things where it's the days I kind of, I kind of rely on it a little bit more because it's, it's very much it's, it's my hobby and I, I love it but it also very much is a case of when I don't do it I feel a little bit lost where I'm like well uh, I probably should stream, but I, uh, like, you know, what would I do with myself today, you know? So, it's, yeah, it's very much, I don't know why I feel a little bit on the spot, I'm like, what do I say? I mean, I, I literally sit for like six hours at a time talking to myself anyway, but it's strange when you're sort of on somebody else's, on somebody else's stream, you know what I mean? Well, hopefully it won't be the last time uh, you find your way over to these not. parts. And uh, not. thank you for appearing once again. And folks, like uh, Suka just said tonight, you'll be playing Layers of Fear from 8pm British time. Uh, so if you want to 
joining with the fun on his channel uh, i can highly recommend it it's a great streamer great community uh, i always have a lot of fun over there when i do manage to make it there which is not enough lately because i'm so it's, busy you're, you're a busy man you're a very very busy man i totally understand it. it's one of those things where people like i I'm gonna go off on a, on a, on a, t a tangent again. Yeah, it's one of those things where I very much understand people have lives outside of Twitch. So if you're not able to, you know, drop by, you're not able to sort of hang out. It's never a problem. Like, it's it's very much a case of um, I'm gonna I'm about to quote Avengers uh, Infinity War when I say, you know, let's cherish the moments we actually have together, Wanda. So um, I cherish the moments I get to spend with you, the snake. It's uh, it's a good time. Well, I've cherished this uh, wonderful hour, uh, so I'm going to wrap up now. We're going to go and raid over to Mothzilla, the usual Sunday after party. Uh, so we're going to go over to Moths, say hello, and uh, all that good stuff, and cheer, and spam emotes if you got them. And uh, that's going to wrap us up here. Uh, so once again, Sukunami, uh, this has been your game, and your game this is been my game. Disney's Atlantis. Uh, thank you for coming thank on. Thank you so much. And uh, <laughs> bye, everyone. See you later.